excites me uh, a lot of things actually but basically collaboration people collaborating and doing what they feel is correct and they feel is right and just helping each other basically sharing of ideas uh, without any of that uh, fear that people need to keep it to themselves otherwise people can steal their ideas and stuff and realize that actually if they do share ideas they can actually make bigger things out of it, you know, kind of, uh, the, the power of collaboration actually makes things happen rather than stall things into silence. Astonishing the technology that we have these days to connect with people on the other side of the world um, and share conversations, you know, these two communities, one in San Francisco, here one in Melbourne, um, all talking about what it is to be wise. I think the internet is something precious we need to preserve. Uh, what we've got. It's an enormous resource for the future, but it is not going to be uh, saved with the current debate over technology. We need to shift the debate, make it about the fears that parents have and what the voters have, and see if we can address those before we uh, look at the tech. So it's a call to arms to retreat, potentially, from what the, the methods we've been using and look at another angle. My kind of passion there is high performance computing, um, kind of doing things smarter, faster, better kind of thing. Um, and I really like applying that to science. So my, my focus at the moment is cloud computing and getting things scaling um, really quick, really simple, really cheap. Well, I think in terms of the platform, like I think the evolution, yeah, there'll be some more changes, but I really, I think it's the people that evolve it for you, so the uses. Um, I, I think I, at the moment I'm kind of torn between more of the, you know, putting out content or sharing links and resources and the conversational aspect and I wouldn't really mind like kind of, I found that if you want the IM type stuff, Twitter is probably not the best thing for that and so it would be great to kind of compartmentalise it and have a, a part where you can have that conversation and keep it going and have it more real time and then have all the fantastic stuff that Twitter is known for currently in a separate space. My passion is really about connecting and opening human hearts and creating spaces in the city for doing that. So we have a lot of, uh, lot of busyness in our lives but we don't t tend to take the time that we need for our heart to communicate and connect and um, to share our emotions and feelings in groups. We often are only sharing with our most close relationships and not as a whole in the community. So I'm really passionate about creating spaces where we can come together to communicate our feelings, our thoughts, our dreams and our needs. And that's what I've been sharing today. So I'm fascinated about uh, physical communication and how physical connection is actually a better way of speaking about certain topics such as, say, music, where we generally form awkward word constructs and try and fit it into our English language, where I actually feel that uh, with the right building blocks and grammar of physical connection, you can actually touch and connect with another person to discuss these concepts in a much higher, much more efficient manner. So um, that's what I'm really interested about. What am I excited about? I'm excited about um, how you build bridges between messy stuff and straight lines. So what do I mean by that? I mean when people tell stories and when people um, tell information to, and then how governments measure that, how people fund that information. I'm really excited about bridges between things. For example, bridges between traditional organisations and what people actually do when they create, make and, and, and generate innovation. Um, always comes back to bridges no matter what I do because I think you can never be entirely one thing or another, you're always moving somewhere between the two. Yes. It makes it worth it to go out to events like Trampoline because you get out the house and you do, you know, you chat to all your friends and it's just fantastic because people are doing such amazing things and they really, you know, fuel you with energy. So, yeah, great.